I'm also going to have some bottles standing here. And then um, this can be open. And it's a place for some journaling or yeah. Photos, small photos. And the way I created this, I started with um cut out the bottle and then I scored about three quarters of an inch like so and uh, matted it on the back so it sticked up like so and then I scored at this side and folded it in like so and then I cut around here with my scissors so I open it so you can see how it looks like so we are going to glue this together just a bit in the bottom here show you the inside after when this is glued down and uh, of this one I cut out the image and uh, again used my knife to cut this out and um, I glossy accented it and backed it on another bottle so and here I have some 3d foam again so I'm going to pop this up I'm not sure. Maybe leave it like that. I think I do that. <laughs> and we are going to glue this on here. This is glossy accents, so I'm not sure what you glue to use to stick it down with. I think we maybe try this glue. See if that goes. Or maybe it's best to use glossy accents. Try that. If it will work. And now it's a mess around me so I can't find my needle. I have to get a new one. Now maybe it will work. That was far too much. explain a bit about this one. So take this off. If you see here I created a pocket by cutting out this image from here and I backed it with the same image here behind. And um, the way I did it, it's the same way as with uh, the bottle. I just um, scored it around and um, and uh, this black paper and fold it inside and glued it on. I hope you understand what I mean. Um, if I can find the paper here and show you. It's a bit too big, big but I folded the black paper in all sides 
in like so and also here and here and then I backed this on but first I glue this image behind so that is how that is made and then we are going to take this on the back here and put this inside and it's for a little photo journaling so we can slide this back again and this I just measure from the paper here so it will fit would have made all <laughs> from the bottom to show but it will the, the videos will be so so long or made it from the beginning it's called so. and here I have a frame that I it's a crackle accent I just have to foam it a bit so I can glue it down. So I think I glue it only on this and this side here. So I can slide a photo inside if I want to. Or just some channeling. to use. We try with this one if it works on the top of the purple accent. I don't know. <laughs> we try. here on the top on the frame here so I don't glue it all down like so and then we can put this inside I think hopefully I haven't glued it down this should stand on here. It works well. Um, then I made some tags here and it's just uh, plain 
green cardstock and uh, I show you this in a previous video but I lined it out with a um, with a marker so uh, I made myself a template so I put it like so and I took a marker around so it creates a frame and um, I have this I want to glue on This I have inked with um, uh, some different green um, inks and then crackle painted. They were brown <laughs> and it's uh, from the paper as well. So I think it was uh, from the paper where all the frame, uh, the image here is from the paper where all the frames are. So this is from the 8x8 and the larger is from the 12x12 stack. So this will now go inside here. Like so. And now hopefully this is dried. And uh, the way I made this is uh, pretty much the same way um, I took a long strip of paper and put it down and um, then I glued on this uh, uh, bottle cap and uh, then I cut around again so it's a bit fun way to use the bottles so we are going to glue this down here where I shall start about here I think This is the finish to glue together with the first page and uh, I, did, I already measured how thick they were and put them on top it, on each other so I saw it was enough to uh, have a uh, 3 8 of an inch here so I cut off one line here you see uh, where I could uh, draw the red strip here so and I have some double sided tape on here take some out of the way here. Make some room. So now hopefully this will work if we get it together. Try to line it up. So I think we use this as a line so we get it straight. I 
let's see one thing I have to do before I don't like this white <laughs> showing up just have to do that it on the back as well so I think this tape will do it. So we have put two pages together. So here on the back. So in the next episode we are going to um, Assemble page number three, and um, I want to thank you all so much for watching, and uh, I wish you all a great day. And I will now put this uh, back together, uh, all the tags and so. But you don't have to watch that. But if you want to see how it is, so you can watch. And here is. Uh, uh, the other insert I created for uh, this pocket and it's uh, red on this side because it's red here and it's green, green on this side because it's going to slide out on this side so we take that in like so and if I now can remember where all the things to go. And uh, here is the envelope finish. The card inside here. See how long it is when it's folding, folded out. And it's going inside here. And these two are going inside here, like so. So. This is really fun. <laughs> I'm enjoying myself so much with these uh, papers. So again, bye bye.